<laughs> Happy day! Welcome back. I'm in a a good mood today, at least a, a better mood than uh, than I could be. At any rate, uh, welcome to Primo Times, folks. Thank you for being here. Uh, just a reminder, if if you can. Uh, sorry, I had a bug trying to eat my ear. Here we go. Uh, don't worry. Uh, for me, at least, winter's on the way. And then all the bugs will be gone. Here in Canada, the bugs get replaced with uh, snowballs and hockey pucks. In most places. I think out west, really out west, like uh, British Columbia, they don't get a lot of snow, or not usually, but in the last few years, I think they have. Anyhow, uh, you'll notice one little thing. The uh, net, the netting that used to be right here is uh, down. I had a, uh, a splurge of uh, energy the other day and, uh, and and just took that down. It's easy. It was just held up with these little clip uh, things. You just pull a tab and, and off it comes. So uh, I'll hold on to it just for a little while. I, I don't know. It might come in handy for for something. I'm not quite sure. At any rate, today we're going to get into a little bit of um, tech stuff. Uh, one thing I have a concern about is when I was uh, up near Winnipeg with uh, Ken, the uh, fellow who had this ambulance for sale, the oxygen tanks in the side, of course, they're not there but the electronic valve sensors that would go on top of the tanks obviously are, are detecting no pressure or low pressure and they were sending an error code through to the driver's console as well as obviously the alarms to these consoles but specifically the driver's console was beeping a lot like every eight or ten seconds it would give a series of very loud uh, you know, screech beeps, something like uh, the olden days Timex watches, the electronic ones that first came out. Anyhow, super annoying. So what we found is when the tech guys for the ambulance service removed the radio at the console for the driver, they also left the screws out of the sides of the uh, cover, the top of that mount for the console. So we were able to lift that up very easily. Um, and in fact, you know what? <laughs> Let me show you. Okay, so it's uh, these screws right here uh, were left out. So we're able to force this up. All right, so we were able to force this up like that, a little bit of force. And to make this buzzer alarm thing shut up, uh, we disconnected, or actually I found we could disconnect this connector from up here. And that made everything quiet. There's the beeper right here, which somebody tried to uh, cover with some black tape. At any rate, uh, the thing is, disconnecting this was uh, what created several other errors at the Ace Tech box. So that was a bit of a problem be because things like, oh, I don't know, the brake lights, the turn signals, the door locks were not working. So I had to go ahead then and jack into some wires uh, on the highway and try and figure out what I needed to do to get uh, the vehicle functioning legally and safely to drive down the road. So what we're going to do, I'm a little concerned about disconnecting the main power harness over here. A 
and let me uh, take you around and show you that. All right. <clears throat> so this is the front of that console box, and you can see this uh, giant connector that comes in here. And uh, let's just take it off. Done. Yeah, so that's like, oh my gosh, I don't know, there must be 20, 20 pins in here. So the bolts are actually the mounts onto the floor seem pretty basic. It looks like it's uh, held onto the floor with uh, looks like a large uh, size uh, Phillips. So uh, let me gear that together and uh, let's get this console out of here. Should be fun. Maybe. We'll find out, I guess. All right, we're behind the uh, console. I'm sitting uh, sort of in the walkway here. And just to show you how sophisticated this vehicle is, down here, behind the driver's seat, we have a super convenient spot to grab power. Look at that. And it's even labeled. So this is switched positive, which would mean it's on only when the ignition's on or engine's running. And that is unswitched positive. And then, of course, uh, a good spot for negative over here. So that'll be a fantastic spot if I'm uh, going to be installing anything here. So let's make some space. These are new... Uh, bumper pads for the uh, the back bumper. Let's get these out of the way. There we go. So on my Milwaukee tools, I have my, my uh, sort of like angle flex bit, and then I have an extension, and then I have my larger Phillips bit on the end. So as you can see, maybe you can't see, this black cover is protecting uh, a mount screw that's right under that white plate. So we just need to undo this screw, lift this gently out of the way, and get the first uh, Phillips screw out of the floor here. And then uh, we'll do maybe this one, and then come forward, and then I'll be able to walk clearly back and forth. Also, remind me uh, shortly, this light I'm going to take off this panel because we'll be mounting it on the dash shortly. I'll reuse that. So let me get the let me get you in a good position to watch me do this. Ah, I'm gonna be a, a left-handed person today. Oh yeah, one of these. It's gonna be tough. I'll save that because I'll put that back in place. Oh, there we go. There's a bunch of wires right around it. That's going to make it lovely.
got uh, seized up on me. I don't know why. Unless there's some type of lock washer or bolt on the other side. I don't know. There we go. All right. Much easier. That's the way I like it. Okay. Passenger seat is uh, where I'm sitting. And there's another one right there. Let's get that one out. That's a really long one. All right, it's getting there. So let's go to the other side and get the last one out. And the last one, it's behind a piece of plastic as well, but I can just lift that out of the way. So that's all good. That should be it. All right. I think the only way to go with this is that way. So let's give it a go. There are still four or five wires going into the cabinet somehow underneath, I suppose. Uh, quickly, let me put some of these bolts back in the holes and see if they're going to grip something. to keep them uh, the hole sealed and whatnot. And then I'll take a look at that. So all the mounting bolts are now back in the floor. They're flush, that's fine. Oh my. So, <laughs> let's get into here and see what's going on with all this wire stuff. All right, the uh, console is pulled back. Tremendous amount of space up front now. So, as well, you can see all the wires that have come out uh, from the, the bottom. What we're going to do is I'm going to get in here and I've got to uh, clear those wires out so we can maybe bundle them up over here safely and then I can uh, pull this out of the way. Uh, so let me get in here and uh, get at some of those. Thank you. 
everything freed so um, let's remove this uh, really cool light out of here and then uh, I'll carry this out of the ambulance and get it away uh, this thing must weigh 60 pounds or so oh my god Yeah, that puppy is heavy, uh, 50 or 60 pounds at least. Um, right now, the only thing I think I can use is that LED light. There are other things in here. There's an Ace Tech network box, I assume. There's a piezo alarm or toner. Might be able to reuse that. And... There is some type of power meter here. I can get the part number off of it and look it up. That's the back of the switch panel. That will be useless to me. And that's the back of the Whalen siren control. That's useless. So uh, anyhow, let me uh, get a Phillips and we'll pop that off of there. I still have some paperwork in here, I think. Oh yeah, so I better uh, save all that for the uh, ambulance. Now uh, there's all the uh, service manual, I suppose. Some kind of uh, power connectors. This is probably good for something, but these are no good. But what I'll do, uh, I've got to stop collecting junk, stop collecting stuff. I've got too much anyhow as it is, but we'll keep these for now. Maybe I can cut this off and reuse it for something. And uh, if not, then I'll definitely throw it out. Okay, that's very heavy duty. Oh, there's what I took a bath with when I was uh, traveling on the highway. Lighters, that would be for my roommate, because he's the one that smokes all the time, not me. Reflective red tape, just in case. And a whole bunch of their uh, tire torque indicators. You put these on the bolts on uh, your lug nuts, on your car uh, rims, and it tells you when they're getting loose. I'll let those go. All right, the Whalen microphone. Although it be nice, it can go inside. There we go. Jeez. Uh. 
Well, wow, that was uh, fun. Sorry, you're at an angle here right now. <laughs> there you go, I'm at an angle. Anyhow, that really uh, clears that up, huh? So I'm going to tidy these wires up, probably over here, tie them up nice and neat under the seat out of the way, keep them clear so they don't short each other out. And that piece of plastic, I'll keep it for the moment, but I don't think I need it. And then I'll uh, just quickly vacuum up here and good to go. So now my spirits are a little bit up higher than they were before. Um, definitely my health is not. Um, today was a good day though. My uh, kidney stones really weren't doing uh, a lot to try and, you know, take me away from life. What we're going to get to in the next several episodes is removing a lot of the mounting hardware and uh, different things that this vehicle will not be uh, needing anymore. Please take care of yourself and please take care of those you love. See you next time.